our mission as a, as a health plan, or part of our mission, is to take all this raw data that we have from over 110 million members' longitudinal data, as I said, in every zip code in America, and turn that raw data into information that's acceptable and accessible for decision making. Both for our customers, for our members, for our providers, for government entities, for everybody. We're the logical source of, of a collective information resource. And I think that will be the principal focus of our business as time evolves. So the creation of, we, we in the Blues have created an enterprise, Blue Health Intelligence, which is the focal point of that transformation. We had to put together a warehouse of three and a half billion pieces of data, and that was the easy part. I mean, that's, that's what's overwhelming <laughs> about this conversation, is that was the easy part. The hard part is to take that three and a half billion pieces of data and turn it into actionable information that means something to people because a lot of what's in there is interesting in an academic sense but is it interesting in a business sense right. I mean we found insights as an example in 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 this database about the efficacy of knee and hip replacements and how they're uh, how they vary by protocols and what could be done to improve them we found information and insights in there about um, reimbursements for certain procedures, one in particular colonoscopies and, and how, they, um, how they vary, the costs for those colonoscopies vary based upon the kinds of, insi of uh, add-on services or other services which are bundled in there regardless of the venue to which they're performed, inpatient, outpatient, private clinics, hospital outpatient centers. We found all sorts of insights that really will save our plans material amounts of money, uh, which ultimately will transform into a bending of the cost curve, which is what has to happen in America. So what Scott's explaining is this insatiable demand that is now being placed on this asset. And if you could only imagine that the answer to one question seems to trigger the next 10, the demand that was being put on the environment, we didn't anticipate. We had engineered a pretty robust solution and felt like we had had something that was fairly bulletproof and robust. And early on, from a technology perspective, we started to fail the expectations of some of the end users because of the complexity of the queries, the volume of the queries, and we were basically telling them, you'll get your answer tomorrow. Right. And there were some engineering things that we had to rethink because of just the volume and the complexity. There was no way for us to anticipate the combinations of data that they would need to answer those next derived questions. Thankfully, uh, I've got some brilliant technologists, and uh, we turned them loose on the problem, sketched it out on the back of a piece of paper what the problem was, and turned them loose on it, and they moved to a solution that was phenomenal, um, you know, basically taking a look at the query patterns, moving to a search appliance that was more columnar in nature, and really put an exponential uh, capacity in there for us for scale. We've also uh, created an environment where the plans themselves right. can access and ask questions without coming to us. Right. So we've created this interactive uh, model where, where our customers, our plans, can frame certain questions themselves, access the data, and get answers to those questions. So they don't have to wait for us. Bigger issues we obviously have to do uh, for them, but, but we've created this interactive capacity. Uh, and that has, has engendered a lot of enthusiasm at the plan level because when their clients ask them a question, they can be the first responder to the answer. This ability for, for the technologists, the analysts, the business executives, and the healthcare professionals to all come together to solve a problem is really the power of this tool. And I think, uh, and, and Doug can, can comment on this more, that's what really turns on some of these analysts because too often they analyze in a vacuum and they don't have that interaction with their end customer. They don't have that interaction with the business user. This is a very interactive process. So it's almost like a social network in some respects and just sharing the insights and you know, garnering the next set of questions and the interest and then having a material use of them in the business.